He's saying that across the world, people are paying attention to what's happening in Europe. There is the Secretary of State for International Trade, and you're in a position with a vote to decide should somebody become Prime Minister and they're promising no deal. What signal do you want to send out across the world on trade on that? Well, both candidates, as far as I'm aware, have said that they want to leave the European Union with a deal. They want to leave with the right deal. And I should think that's what the whole of Parliament would want to do, if, of course, they both, were Democrats. They're both prepared uh, to leave without a deal, and Mr Hunt was actually talking about leaving the end of September without a deal. He was getting harder, he was getting tougher. The, the, the macho talk was getting better The government's policy has been to prepare for no deal, because the UK cannot guarantee no deal on its own. The European Union could, uh, uh, well, the UK uh, could, can... could reach a position where it did not want, for example, to extend beyond the 31st of October and there would be no deal. No deal is the default position in British legislation. That, that is what happens if we can't reach a deal. The UK, and just a final point, 